why. Hello, so today I need to explain const. Const, short for constants, are variables that can't be changed once you assign them. In this example, we're going to create a program to calculate the circumference of a circle, given a radius. Let's define our variables. First, we have pi. We'll begin with using let, then I'll show you the benefit of using const. So let pi equals, I'll use the first few digits of pi, 3.14159. Then we have let radius, which we will assign later. We'll ask for user input. Then let circumference. I think I spelled that right. I can never spell circumference. All right. Now we need to ask the user what the radius is. I will just use a window prompt. Radius equals window dot prompt. Enter the radius of a circle. Then once we have our radius, when we accept user input, it's a string data type. We need to convert our radius into a number by using the number function. Then once we have our radius, we can calculate the circumference by setting circumference equal to, and here's the formula, 2 times pi times our radius that the user enters in. Then once we have our circumference, let's console.log our circumference. Let's see if this works. Enter the radius of a circle. I'll enter 10. Press OK. Their circumference is 62.8. So why might you want to use a const in this program? You may accidentally, or somebody else may maliciously, change the value of a variable so that the program doesn't behave as intended. For example, somewhere within my program, I will set pi to be a new number. Pi equals 420.69. Let's run this program again. Enter the radius of a circle. I'll enter 10. Press OK. And my circumference is 8,413. I may not realize that this is the incorrect answer. Just for an extra security measure, I can turn any variables that shouldn't change to be a const, a constant. Replace let with const. And it is good practice if you have any constants to make all of the letters in the variable name uppercase. So pi is now capital PI. Hey, this is Bro from the Future. There's one thing I needed to clarify that I forgot to mention. Capitalizing your constants is usually only done with primitive data types, such as numbers and booleans. Reference data types, such as strings, don't normally follow this convention. You'll see this in the next few upcoming videos. Pi is a constant and we're assigning a number, that's why I'm making it all uppercase. But if this was a string, normally we wouldn't. That is all. Let's try and change that variable again. Pi equals 420.69. So we have an uncaught type error. Assignment to constant variable. So JavaScript won't let us reassign constants once they are assigned once. We can't make any changes to it. Once you declare a constant, you can't change the value. And that's pretty helpful in a lot of circumstances. It's an extra security measure. What we'll do this time is within our web page, we will accept some user input via a text box. We'll rewrite the same program. Let's create an h1 element. I will set the ID of the h1 element to be my h1. And the text will be enter the radius of a circle. I'll create a text box. Input. I'll set the type equal to text. The ID equal to my text. I'll create a label for this input text box. Let's say radius. I'll add a button. The button will say submit. The ID will be my submit. Then I'll add two breaks right after the text box to make it look nice. Let's get rid of console.log. When we click on the submit button, we will execute a function. We need to select the button. Let's take our document, get element by ID, 
the ID is my submit, follow this with dot on click equals a function, parentheses curly braces. When we click on the button, we'll execute any code within the curly braces. We can eliminate our window prompt. We need to get the value from the text box. Again, we can use document.getElementById, but the ID is going to be my text, the text from the text box. Dot value. Get the value from the text box, and we will assign that to radius. Then we will typecast our input as a number. Then we will calculate the circumference. But since pi is a constant, make sure that the letters are uppercase, uppercase pi. Once we have our circumference, let's change an h3 element. So let's add that as well. h3, the ID will be my h3. There will be no text content. Then again, we will get element by ID. The ID will be my h3 change the text content of this element to equal our circumference. Okay, let's try this. The radius is 10, press submit, and here is our circumference. Maybe this will be in centimeters. So let me change that. I'll use string concatenation and just add plus centimeters. So 10, submit, 62.83 centimeters. If I attempt to change the value of pi, maybe I'll do that here. Pi equals 420.69. Rerun the program, 10, submit. There doesn't appear to be a result. So if we go to DevTools, go to console, we have that uncaught type error, assignment to constant variable. So again, we can't change the value of a constant. There are more graceful ways of handling this, We'll learn about that when we get to exception handling. However, this is what we wanted. We do not want to be able to change the value of a constant. All right, everybody, so those are constants. It's just a variable that can't be changed once you assign it a value. And well, those are constants in JavaScript.